Hi all, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Wednesday, August 25th. And for those of you who didn't notice, yes, I said Monday was August 25th, so today's the real August 25th. 2010, here's a summary of what's on the website today. It's an information day, so a little bit of, uh, might go a little bit long, but I'll try to do it as quick as I can. Mobile phones, mobile dangers, protecting children with cell phones. And this one's kind of near and dear to my heart. I do uh, lectures at the local schools around here saying when's the right age to give your kid a cell phone. And I'll go into that in a little bit. But a couple of things that uh, you need to know is that over the last four years, five years, the amount of phones given to kids from 6 to 11 has pretty much doubled. They're now at about 20%. And from the 10 to 11 year olds, it's even higher at 36%. So kids out there are getting cell phones left and right. And the biggest pitfalls that you have to look out for in the problems is what's happening to the kids. Cyberbullying, sexting, and online predators, things like that, is becoming very rampant and very much a problem. Especially with the sexting, there's teenagers that are sending new photos of each other, of each other to each other. And when you're talking about 12, 13, 14 year olds, that tends to be a problem. So what can you do as a parent? There's a couple of things. First of all, know what the actual threats are. Know what cyberbullying is. Know what sexting is. Know what the online predators are looking for. Things like that. Educate your kids on them. You're handing them a cell phone. You're saying they're responsible for this. So educate them. Let them know exactly what it is. And do some research online, research online to get the info on the danger so you can give them the correct information. The next step is research these solutions. Find out which companies are offering uh, solutions to avoid these. There's Net Nanny. There's Safety Web. There's um, a company called Protector that you can get a, a system from. There's a ton of them that are out there that you can actually get that put limits on there that uh, help avoid stopping calls. One of them, Protector, actually is setting up a system where if there's an online predator or somebody on the phone, you can actually set it up to where that phone call gets routed to your phone. Uh, things like that. So check out the things with GPS. Check out the companies like Guardian Angel, Firefly, Kajit. I actually put a, a link to Kajit at the very beginning because they are they do specialize in cell phones for kids. Uh, starting at plans at four ninety nine, things like that. So so those are the things you want to take a look out for. Check out the uh, the uh, wireless companies that offer things. The carriers, AT and T, Verizon, all of them offer carriers. All the carriers offer things for GPS tracking, things like that. So check those out. Choose the phone wisely. Make sure the phone fits the per kid. Giving a six-year-old a BlackBerry probably or an iPhone is probably not the best idea in the world. Uh, check out what the safety features are on, on the phones, what the GPS capabilities are, uh, the texting limit, the parental controls, things like that. Make sure to impose limits, and this is very, very important. Again, remember, these are children. Just handing them a phone and saying, go do it, and I don't care how much money you have. Just saying, it, so which means you can pay as much as you want for the phone and for the texting and everything. Remember, the teenagers are averaging 3,000 texts received and sent a month. That's a ton of information that's going across that you have no idea of. So impose the limits. If, if you need to set up uh, things, and all, again, most of the carriers or services have the ability to set up limits on how much they can use and especially what times they can use them. Most schools do not allow cell phones and I would shut down the phone from this time to this time while they're in school. Uh, give the kids the responsibility. Make them understand. Read them the rules of the road. You're handing them a, a piece of technology. Make sure they understand how to use it, what to use it, that it's not a toy, that it's not a gimmick to play with. The real reason why you're giving it to them, sit them down exactly why you're giving it to them and make sure they understand that. Now, a lot of this happens to to depend on where you live also. If you live in a very safe rural area, you may not have to be as restrictive as if you're living in an inner city. So something to check out. But this is an extremely important article. Last, and I beg you to read the whole thing. The last thing is, when is the right time to give your kid a cell phone? It depends on them. I have a 10 year old son who unfortunately is not the most emotionally mature kid. And to hand him a cell phone, I don't think he has the full responsibility to use it. However, he is starting to branch out from our local area to go play with friends. He's going across the street, meaning crossing a street of our block to the next block to play with friends. So now it's my now I'm thinking it's time, you know what? And I always ask him to call me when he gets there. Well he's using their phone and I feel guilty about that. So now I think it's it is time to get him this phone. But again I'm gonna replace a, a, a an extreme amount of restriction on that. Otherwise he'll go nuts with it and make sure that he understands why he's getting the phone. And it's very, very important. So please check that out. I think you'll find it if you're a parent, I think you'll find it ultimately important. Um, next, the X article is who's calling? Some more than others. And again, this breaks down. Less than 18, you're all, you know, are they using voice or are they texting? Well, under 18, they're averaging 631 minutes of voice and they're averaging 2,779 texts. 
So again, and this is information most of the time you have no idea about. And this is a survey from Nielsen from uh, April of 09 to March of 010 of 60,000 users, the bills from 60,000 users of mobile phones. So it's a pretty extensive uh, survey. Uh, it, and it breaks it down to 18 to 24 year olds, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, and so on. So go ahead and take a look at it. It also breaks it down by race, who's taking this down, by men and women. And just as a side note, women uh, use 22% more voice than men do. Go figure. So, next, uh, Dell releases Arrow running antiquated Android 1.5, and Dell has released a smartphone. It's their actual second smartphone they released, but the first one in the U.S., and the second product that they've released, because the, the Streak is not considered a smartphone, it's considered a tablet, um, that, that has the ability to, to do the, what a smartphone does. Uh, but the problem is it comes without with 1.5 Android, which means that it's more than likely never going to be upgraded to 2.2, maybe 2.1 someday, but not 2.2, uh, and at 100 bucks. When you can go to Verizon for the LG Ally and get uh, for half that money with 2.1, soon to be 2.2, uh, you know it, it's we're not sure how um, effective this unit, this Dell is going to be, the Arrow. But there is a video on it, so go ahead and check it out. It looks like a really nice phone, 3.5 inch screen, 5 megapixel camera, um, and I venture to say that this is you know Dell's just having to forge their way into the market. I'm sure they're coming out with new other newer products with more upgrades on them. It does have a nice, a lot of in features built into it, and uh, you can check it out through the Dell website. There's a link directly to it uh, for, uh, again, for 100 bucks. so check that out. Under uh, categories, AT&T. AT&T launches in-store rewards on Scavenger. Uh, it, that's a location-based website that has a game that when you check into certain places, especially when you check into the AT&T stores, you get so many points, you, get, you can get a free ringtone, you get so many more points, you can get free accessories, and you get so many more points, and it gives you money towards the Samsung Captivate. So check it out, really cool concept. Um, and then Sprint is working with Cal Ema to pilot wireless emergency alert system, which is really cool. Um, they're allowing public safety, or the pilot is going to check out and allow public safety agencies to send warnings and safety info, safety info via text and, and phone calls. So natural disasters, terror alerts, things like that. If when this gets rolled out and the beta test is going to show in the San Diego area that when stuff like this happens, the customers will get a text as to what to do, instructions to do, how to do it, what's happening, and I think it could really uh, set an early alert system up very well. That's all I got for today. Again, sorry I got very wordy, very info, but I think some very important info. Please check out the entire articles of all these because I think there's some really good stuff. www.phonescholar.com. And if you have any questions, send them to me at blogquestions at phonescholar.com. Thanks and have a great day. See you tomorrow.